uh, how to be a writer. It was actually, I've been thinking about the, what this message that a kid had sent me, saying he wanted to be a writer too, and he was just kind of having issues or talking about it. Uh, yeah, it's fine, I'm not remembering too much what you're talking about. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, I was thinking about how when I, I go, you know, of all the sports I play and like to play, the game I like is soccer. And actually the game I like above that is um, street hockey. You know, and not with, you know, skates, but on foot. Because to, to me, actually, on foot is, it's better. <laughs> you know, that's a smarter way to go. You know, it's, uh, you, you want to be able to, like, um, feel the, you know, cover the land on your own terms. You know, and that way, you, hopefully, your foot's not going to get stuck and snap. Oof, but anyways. Um, and when I play soccer, I know I'm not the best player. But the thing is, I'm not actually going to play for the ball. I'm going to play against the other players. And the reason why is because I like to think of myself, and the nickname I give myself is like the wall. I'm just going to stand, you know, I'm just going to basically stand in the way of the guy, you know, who's running around. And I'm not, you know, put my arms out like this, you know, so you basically he's going to collide with my forearms first and then bounce, you know, that's going to leverage and slow him down so it'll help him bounce off my body so that way it'll minimize impact on me. So these are just little things I, you know, do and think about. And so, yeah, when I'm playing soccer, I'm thinking of it as a, you know, full contact sport. And, you know, the thing is, that's what the nearest I can compare or think about it to, uh, you know, combat in a battlefield. You know, in medieval times. You know, in Roman times. Whenever. You know, just like you have a, a shield and a sword and it's open, you know, land and, you know, to you and another guy are just going to collide. You're going to, you know, impact each other. What's going to happen? You know, what sort? You know, what are you going to hear? What's going to be, you know, happen? What are you going to be afraid of? Kind of thing. And you know, that's, you know, when I write, that's what I think about. What is there to be afraid of? You know, what do you need to be afraid of? So um, that's how you define characters. That's how you define, uh, define the organization, the society. You know, basically, or the the primary primary mover of just individuals, you know, in your group. Um, that way, that gives them a semblance of personality. You know, that way you don't have to fully develop somebody's personality. You don't have to create or think about, well, who who is this person? You know, who, you know, why do I? Who? How is he going to interact with my main character here? Because my main character is the only person who I really want to focus on of having a personality. So that's the other thing. You know, key things that you have to maintain your personality, you have to maintain, you know, uh, and this is why a lot of the good authors and good actors and that, they basically, they make convincing shows because it's, it's this is me, you know, this is how much in the character I am, you know, kind of thing. But, um, you know, you have to think about that for characters as well. And if you have minor characters, how do you work those minor characters? You know, um, there's only so many people who you can you know, focus on or, or think about. Uh, in your mind, you know, that's why a lot of stories, whenever you read them, you know, how, how many leads are there? Well, there's either the one, or there's like about three, you know, I think. Um, and uh, the reason why George R. R. Martin is able to get like eight or ten different personalities, and some of them, you know, working with each other, you know, like they're, or they interact with each other. You see, you know, the, your character you read his point of view in the previous chapter, and now it's her point of view in this chapter and what, you know, how they exist, how they feel towards each other. And it's like, uh, oh, so, you know, we have to see things from her eyes. You know, where is she going? What is she doing? So that's, you know, man, that's, you know, man. When I say George R. R. Martin is a good, you know, writer, that's what I mean. Um, you know, I, and I feel, when I say, like, I want to get up to his level, you know, that's what I mean. Is that, you know, I can just totally change the character or change the point of view and, you know, carry it on, and have it, you know, go on, um, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens, but, um, in terms of what I want from, uh, or, like, when I'm writing, how do I write, how do I get the writing out there, the, you know, the key thing is, like, what is each person afraid of, um, so you're gonna have minor characters, like, you know, <laughs> you know, like, uh, the story I'm just writing, uh, gang of daggers. Who are the characters? Who are the guys? They are a group of high school kids 
who um, they have now access to a world where they're considered men. They have money. They have prestige. You know, they're looked up to. They're respected. You know, and you know, people. Some people even call them sir. You know, these are just little scrubs. You know, from high school. All of them are scrubs. All of them are just these little, small, weak guys who just get. You know, they got picked on. Uh, guys are coming up. You know, and dumping pencil shavings on them, um, or they throw. You know, you know, drinks at them, or they splash them. This that. You know, and it's just that's. You know, that's the people who I'm writing about. You know, at the beginning of this novel. And it's, you know, and, and it's like they can't really, you know, do anything because if somebody insults you, somebody, you know, they, they use power, they exert power on you, they push you around, they get, you know, a sense of power based off of your, you know, being subverted or you're being punished in some way. And then they uh, scamper off, you know, and without facing authority. Now, let's put you in a situation where, all right, well, here's some guy, he's going to, you know, he's going to try to take you. But no, he's not going to just bully you. He's going to try to kill you. So guess what? You have to kill him back. And here's a wooden spear, wooden hand carved spear. Go for it. And, and you know, these little kids are just like, man, what the hell, you know? And it's like uh, I write in there too that, yeah, they, they get injured. You know, they just, they get scared the heck out of him. They just, you know, they get injured. So, you know, but... Uh, that's what I'm hoping people will dig, you know, when I write in my stuff, is like, you're going to see the battle unfold from that guy's point of view. You're just, you know, you're going to, you know, feel it. You know, I hope. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you play a game and it has rumble feature feedback. You know, I love that. You know, especially if, like, you, you get it just right, because, you know, you're playing a game that, you know, it's just like, ah, man, just, you know, you, you, know, you feel it. you just like, ah, you got me. Or, uh, I'm, you know, I'm driving, and I'm, here's, you know, here's the person I'm hitting, you know, or here's the, uh, the off-road action, you know, kind of thing. That's just, that's so cool. Okay, one thing I'm going to try, again, is that the, the thing I'm doing next, uh, this is like my own little franchise, the Gang of Daggers, so the other franchise I'm going to get started or whatever, uh, I'm going to do days, but the beginning, the pre, you know, the, the prologue is going to be day zero, and then the rest of the book will be just titled, you know, day, month, year, you know, on, you know, so it's, uh, that'd be kind of cool, because I, the thing is, <laughs> well, it'll be kind of big, so let's just let's see how much I can write, yeah, <sighs> boy, I if I can do a novel a year, then, hey, who knows, but, uh, and on top of that, I'm going to try to choreograph uh, battles and fights, to um, music, so kind of like my own little version of a music video. I did this before, and uh, back in college, um, with different things. <laughs> it was kind of cheesy battles and this and that. But you know, there was like a couple times like, I was listening to like The Doors, The End, and because um, I'd gotten these records, so I play. You know, I pop the record on this record player in my room, and you know, let it play, and I'm just like. I'm trying to write as fast as I can to, and to match the cadence and the, the flowing of the song. So, and then like whenever there was a, a line, you know, a certain type of line or a certain, you know, feeling, somebody, you know, I have a character or an instance, you know, that reflected that. So that, you know, there's, the, there's a rider on the storm and, you know, like you hear the clangor of battle, you know, and so, um, some guy, you know, they took it away. One guy like, ah, ride the snake, you know. But uh, uh, did a couple of those for Metallica, and I'm gonna try to start this new one with uh, some Lincoln Park, uh, like the latest Lincoln, the latest Lincoln Park, uh, bleed it out. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I mean, that's just you know, I think that's just something interesting to try. Is that uh, you, you know, you have a battle, and you, in fact, you know, when the author says, hey, put, pop this song in, now read this chapter, you know, <laughs> and now read this little section, and, you know, uh, you know see what kind of effect. So, uh, I think it'd be neat. <sighs> now I just need to find a comic verse.